So some images and videos that came out on October 20th of 2025 showed the wreckage of what appears to be a prototype or early production Fab 500 Tango glide bomb that the Ukrainian military kind of stumbled upon in a previously recently plowed field. Some people have speculated that this field is near Poltava or Kharkiv, but the interesting thing about this particular bomb is that the tail was fully replaced with a streamlined guidance unit similar to the U.S. Joint Direct Attack Munition fairings. Some of the markings on the casing for this thing suggested that a manufacturing or batch date came from late 2020, but the modifications are much newer to it. Now, Ukrainian forces, specifically their sappers, went out there to inspect the unexploded ordnance at around dusk in this plowed field, and the footage captured them measuring distances and preparing to defuse it. And at first, they thought it was a booby trap because of its proximity to a nearby road, but the bomb didn't detonate, likely due to a malfunction, specifically the rear cover, which is designed to jettle off post-launch to expose and ignite the engine, failed to separate, causing the weapon to glide only a fraction of its intended distance and impact inertly. Now, among the debris, which is a very interesting fact on this, is that the Ukrainian sources identified a Chinese-made Suiwin SW800 Pro turbojet engine that had been integrated into the rear assembly. This small turbine, which is originally designed for large RC model aircraft and drones, provides about 80 kilograms of thrust at sea level. Now it's priced a little bit below $5,000 for civilian models and it's low cost off the shelf, especially if Russia's trying to propel a 500 kilogram bomb without having to spend a lot of money on it. Now this is the first visual confirmation of a jet assisted UMPK on a Fab 500 Tango glide bomb, which essentially means that these glide bombs are intended to travel for much longer distances, but they're they're not necessarily missiles.